Daniel Schiffer, a Canadian skateboarding turn filmmaking YouTuber who is popular for his behind the scenes series, which by the way is very awesome, so you should probably check that out, link in the description. Anyway, tons of people try to recreate his work, so we're kind of doing the same thing. Except what we did is we looked at some of his videos and uh, compiled some certain shots uh, into one video, you know. So here is kind of what we, what we came up with. Oh and yeah, we only used a tripod and an iPhone. Okay, so before we go ahead and talk about the finer details, here's what I want you to do. Comment down, uh, how many of his videos do you think were included in our own video? And yeah, if you want to flex, you could write down in the comments the titles of the videos that we took, you know, the shots from. The first shot was, you know, from the video. I'm kind of giving you time to comment. You should probably pause the video. Anyway, the first shot was from the video, I made a cereal commercial in my dining room. So yeah, the shot of the wafers uh, basically moving and um, multiplying, yeah. So in our own video, to kind of spice it up a bit, we added a rotation key, you know, to make it look like uh, a camera was panning, you know, around as the wafers were multiplying. It wasn't that hard to, to do. And yeah, they were actually pictures. So we took pictures of the wafers, you know, to get that effect. I will be leaving links in the description to every Daniel Schiffer video that we talk about. So yeah, that was the first shot. The second was also from I made a cereal commercial in my dining room. And that was the shot of opening the pack of the wafers, which I personally I do not really like. I don't think we got it exactly as Daniel did his, but I mean, I don't know. We, we just had to add it. But again, it wasn't you know hard at all. It was just the camera, you know, faced down and opening the back of wafers. Okay, third shot. That was pouring the wafers into a bowl. Now this actually was taken from or inspired by two videos. Two of his videos. One was the How I Film Epic handheld b-roll the cooking one or was it the onion one i would i would probably clarify then also i made a serial commercial he also you know, did that effect which is again was kind of simple we just had the camera again face down on the bowl then put the cereal falling you know really close to the camera to make it look like it was falling from you know the camera which is again not that hard but I wished uh, we had more of the wafers, you know, to make it look you know, better, but we just you know, kind of worked with what we had. Okay, next shot. I think that's shot number five. Five? Okay, shot number four. Now that was the shot of the can opening itself. That was gotten from the video filming a spicy commercial. Yeah. And it was, I think, uh, I can't remember what exactly it was, but... It was like margarine or something. Yeah, it was opening itself. So yeah, we just took a shot of the can again in pictures, you know. Next shot, uh, shot number five. That was a shot of us throwing wafers on the pack of wafers, which is from uh, filming a spicy commercial as well. Yeah, when he threw the peppers, I believe, on the pack. But, except his was like really cool because he it changed. If you watch the video again, you'll notice that he changed the pack, you know, and yeah, but I mean, we just, we just threw it. Shot number six. That was from How I Film Epic Pizza B-roll. Yeah. Which, which was kind of the first shot or the last shot reversed. 
either way we just had you know some wafers pouring out of the nylon and we went uh, from in to out we scaled out but I think there was actually camera movement on it It was on a tripod so we just pulled it back and forward anyway that was the sixth uh, shot you know if we had something like a uh, what's it called probe lens yeah if we had like the probe lens yeah it would definitely been really cool you know to have you know the inside from the inside as it comes out but we don't have that so yeah that would have been cool if, uh, you know. seventh shot which was i think the last shot uh, that was from how i film epic handheld b-roll sort of it was basically the shot where we slammed the um can on a table then we had some waffles <laughs> waffles <laughs> we had some wafers you know in slow motion flying up in the air sort of i wanted the wafers to go way higher so we tried slamming and slamming but that was as high as it could get yeah so that's that's basically it i mean it's nothing crazy again we only had just an iphone and a tripod and yeah that was what we were able to to create there were some other shots that we did try to recreate but just because they didn't look you know decent enough we just ignored and uh, left them out yes you are still able to you know, do nice things be creative in filmmaking even if you just have a camera and a um, tripod if you did enjoy the video drop a like uh subscribe if you know that's something you're down to do and i would see you in the next one peace